the Richmond Symphony Orchestra is excited to introduce the final candidates in our music director search. Each candidate will conduct one of our classical series concerts, showcasing their leadership, personality, and musical taste. From these five, one will become the orchestra's fourth music director, someone to inspire our musicians, captivate our audience, engage the community, and lead the RSO into the future. First up, Luke Frazier, founder and conductor of the American Pops Orchestra in Washington, D.C., who makes his RSO debut September 17th. The program features a wide variety of musical genres that speak personally to his experience as a pianist and the musical inspiration that the piano brings to so many. Luke believes that the future of orchestral music is breaking down barriers between orchestras and audiences. I'm Luke Frazier, and I'm so excited to be joining you on September 17th for a program I'm calling I Love a Piano. Like so many musicians, I first fell in love with music through the piano, hearing my elementary music teacher play or playing for my own church services. The piano gave me an immediate understanding of the power of music and its connection to people. From Bach to Mozart, Gershwin to Glazunov, this program is inspired by the piano and my journey as a musician. I'll also be bringing three of my friends along with me, a prodigy pianist, a rising opera star, and even a tap dancer. Getting to connect people through music is what I love. And the opportunity to meet all of you, work with the incredible players of the Richmond Symphony Orchestra, and talk about the bright future ahead is something I'm very much looking forward to. On October 15th, the RSO is proud to introduce music director candidate Jacob Joyce. Quickly gaining recognition as a dynamic and innovative presence on the podium, Joyce brings a tireless passion for music making and love for outreach to his work. An advocate for bringing classical music to new audiences, he is the host and creator of the podcast Attention to Detail, the Classical Music Listening Guide. Hi everyone, this is Jacob Joyce. I am a conductor currently living in Pittsburgh, working as the assistant conductor of the Pittsburgh Symphony, but I've also worked for the past few years just up the road from Richmond in Indianapolis, where I am the resident conductor. And so it's a particular delight for me to join the Richmond Symphony this season as one of the music director finalists. And we've got a great program for you. It's a program that's really inspired by the idea of dance and how dance intertwines with music. So we start with a fantastic showpiece, Marquez's Danzon number two, and we'll close with Dvorak's Slavonic dances, some of the best, most fun, and I also think subtle and interesting dance pieces we have in the classical repertoire. And then in the middle, we have a fantastic violin concerto, the Barber Violin Concerto. One of my personal favorites, one of the greatest pieces of American music, I think, performed by the wonderful Anna Lee. So I'm incredibly excited for this upcoming concert, and I hope to see you all there. Conductor Wesley Schulz takes the podium November 19th. Schulz is widely recognized for his superb programming and spirited yet heartfelt music making. At the core of his artistry is the desire to unite people through thought-provoking performances, deepening the relationship between the symphony and the community. Wes is the music director and conductor of the Auburn Symphony Orchestra in Washington State and recently completed four seasons as associate conductor of the North Carolina Symphony. Hi, my name is Wesley Schultz, and I'm thrilled to be coming to the Richmond Symphony Orchestra. What I appreciate about this organization is its desire to present creative programs, to collaborate with other arts groups and nonprofits, and for its interest in reaching out to all of the young people in the community. Now, the program that the orchestra and I will present contains three works, all of which explore the idea of fate in music. We'll open with Carlos Simon and his Fate Now Conquers, which was inspired by the writings and music of Ludwig van Beethoven. We will present Beethoven's Violin Concerto, and our violin soloist will be Rachel Ellen Wong, a winner of the Avery Fisher Career Grant. The program will close with Peter Tchaikovsky's Symphony No. 5, a work that takes fate and turns it into triumph. I can't wait to see you at the concert hall. 
The RSO rings in the new year with finalist Matthew Kramer on January 28th. A Richmond native, Kramer is music director and principal conductor of the Indianapolis Chamber Orchestra, a position he has held since 2015. He additionally serves as music director of the Butler County Symphony in Pennsylvania and artistic director of Orchestra Indiana. During his summers, Matthew serves on the faculty at New England Music Camp for Youth. I'm Matthew Kramer. As a young musician growing up in Richmond, Indiana, the RSO featured prominently in my musical development. It was the first professional orchestra I ever heard. I competed in the RSO's concerto competitions and I even served as principal second violin for a season. Although I'm in Richmond frequently, I look very much to returning as guest conductor of the RSO this January in a program which highlights the virtuosity and the artistry of the RSO musicians. We open our program with Respighi's Fountains of Rome, a vivid and colorful musical depiction of four Roman fountains at various times of the day. We have Irish Korngold's Violin Concerto with a superb violinist named Zach DePew, former concertmaster of the Indianapolis Symphony. Korngold, in addition to being a child prodigy, was also one of the pioneers of the golden age of Hollywood sound. And we close our concert with one of the most popular symphonies in the repertoire, Dvorak's Eighth Symphony. I look forward to seeing all of you this January with the Richmond Symphony. We welcome our final candidate, Andres Lopera, to the podium. Andres believes in the transformative power of music with the goal of making meaningful connections between the community and the orchestra. Currently one of the leading Latin America conductors in the U.S., Andres serves as associate conductor of the Columbus, Ohio Symphony and music director of the Columbus Symphony Youth Orchestras. Hello, Richmond. My name is Andres Lopera, and I am very excited to be one of the finalists for the music director position. I see your orchestra's passion for education and community engagement. That same passion inspires me to make music every day and I hope you feel it in our concert. Our musical journey starts in Argentina with four dances from La Estancia by Argentinian composer Alberto Ginastera. His music is full of energy and really amazing rhythms. Contrasting, our second piece is from Manuel de Falla, Nights in the Gardens of Spain. This piece is rarely played and is purely atmospheric work with beautiful, beautiful melodies played in the piano by Norman Krieger, our amazing soloist. Our last piece is Scheherazade by Rimsky-Korsakov. The symphonic suite in four movements is based on the 1001 Nights, and it has incredible solos from many musicians of your orchestra. So I really hope you come and join us and share the passion that we have for music. Thank you, and I'll see you there. Join us this season as each of our final five make their RSO debut. Attend all five Classical Series concerts and let us know what you think about each candidate. Season subscriptions include two additional concerts you won't want to miss. On December 11th, we'll be treated to a special holiday concert featuring the RSO Brass Section. And on March 11th, we're honored to welcome special guest conductor and Richmond native, Maestro Jack Everly, to lead the orchestra in A Tribute to Hollywood. And our holiday gift to you, Flannel and Frost is back. Circle December 4th on the calendar and invite your friends to enjoy live music outdoors on historic Reeveston Road, complete with hot chocolate to keep you warm and cozy. Our special seven concert season provides us with the opportunity to hear the RSO under seven different batons and to experience truly a new perspective. For tickets and more information, visit richmondsymphony.org or call 765-966-5181 to be a part of your Richmond Symphony Orchestra.